Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and we'll have a little series on internet speed. Um, a lot of people, um, and it's a question that I get regularly, a lot of people have, of course, your ISP has a speed of internet. A lot of people are wondering why their speed isn't up to what it should be, and there's a lot of things that can actually impact the speed of your PC. We're actually going to show you in this video how to check your actual internet speed using a website called speedtest.net. And the reason you go there for that is because that's the place where it's going to actually give you the real connection speed between your computer and a server on the internet. The other websites, for example, people sometimes will tell me, well, my downloads... The speed of my download is slow on this website. Um, what's why? Why is it? Well, because not every website is capable of reaching a specific speed. One of the questions that came through is about um, a um, user, a viewer of the channel that has a laptop, and he says, "Is ISP, his internet service provider, internet speed is one gigabit per second?" But he says that when he's online, it never reaches that, and he's wondering why. It's connected through Wi-Fi, and of course, my suggestion was connect yourself with an Ethernet cable instead and see if there's a difference. There should be. And the reason is simple. So first of all, to check your internet speed, okay, it's simple. Your ISP might have a site. Uh, some internet service providers on their own website has a speed uh, that you can check. There's a speed button, but you can also use your browser. And in here, you'll actually go to simply the uh, speedtest.net website. I'll share the link in the description below. Uh, speedtest.net, why I actually tell people to use this is simply that it's the best place to be as they are capable of reaching gigabit speeds, it's really, really a much better test of the speed that you have. You click Go, and you look at the speeds. I have, as a connection speed, 120 uh, gigabits per second as my internet connection uh, for the uh, download speed, and it should be around 20 for the upload speed. So here, I'm reaching 132 which is fine, telling me that my internet speed is actually reaching the speed that um, I pay for and that is advertised by my uh, Videotron um, ISP. And of course, the, up, the uplink at 21.14 is also what is the, um, the speed that I'm expecting for this. So I'm okay with this speed. And this will actually tell you the speeds that you have, and is it normal to, for that speed to have, depending on your ISP. So, you might be within. So, if you got, if they advertise 50 gigabits, uh, 50 uh, megabits, sorry, you should be around 50 or plus. Uh, sometimes we're a little over or very close to 50. Um, if you advertise one gigabit, here it should be in the download in the megabits per second. You should be close to a thousand. Um, in the download speed, so um, maybe you're not reaching that. We're going to explain the different factors that maybe you're not makes me um, makes you actually uh, not reach that speed in the end. So check your speed like this. Compare it to what you're supposed to have with what you pay, and if you don't reach it, look at the next few videos where we're going to explain why sometimes you don't reach speed. We're going to actually talk mostly of why this speed is not achieved on your ISP if you are connected. Uh, what could be wrong? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.